Hello everybody, my name is Emma Godemont and we need to talk about my master's degree in conducting. What I'm gonna share today is the fact if I even started, yes or no, why I did and didn't start my master's degree, why I did during the past two years, what happened, what did I learn, what didn't I learn, what did I regret about it, did I have any regrets about the past two years? And what are my wishes if it comes to teaching or having master classes? Two years ago, I posted a video on YouTube, which was called The Next Step. And that video was like a two-parted video. The first part of the video was all about my personal next step, which was this master degree that I wanted to start. And then the second part of the video was all about a symposium that I was following, which had a theme, the future of classical music. However, we need to talk about our master degree. As you could predict, I never started with my master degree. I have to explain some things. So I kind of apply for a master degree in the conservatory of Antwerp. I did a whole lot of tests and in the end I was not accepted. The reason why I wasn't accepted is a sketchy reason because it's not that really objective. Um, what happened was I had some lessons with the teacher who gave the master's education to see if I would fit in the master's class. Um, that was kind of okay. Then at the same time, there were certain things going on within my previous conservatory. And I had a very interesting and long conversation with the teacher where I would apply for my master's degree. And we decided that I would enter the master's degree without any application, without any auditioning. So I was kind of sure that I would enter. I did everything that was needed in an ad for the administration. And then at the last, last minute, like really a week before starting the academic year, I got a mail which included that I couldn't start the uh, master's uh, degree. The official reason why I couldn't enter this master's education was because of my singing abilities, which was weird because we had a discussion about the fact that I did don't have to audition for the degree, so singing wouldn't be the, the no-brainer. However, it was the no-brainer, and that was weird. But I had to find a way to deal with it because they were just not letting me in to the conservatory of Antwerp. At the time, I was com I was thinking to combine that with my 9-to-5 job. And I think that the combination of my 9-to-5 job conducts this education, and then I also applied for certain choirs to conduct, was a bit much. And when I applied for a choir to conduct, and they asked me if I would be willing to take it uh, to to conduct it, and I said like, yeah, I am still doubting since I wanna see what my schedule will look like if I enter the master's degree. I think that this the the confrontation of these elements was part of the reason why they never let me into that master's education. However. I can't prove anything, so let's stop doubting. In the meantime, we are two years further. I combined two jobs instead of an education and a job. And the specific choir, I never was the conducting of it because they replaced me immediately when I said I was still doubting about it. So what I did was I gave um, choir lessons in Brussels on Mondays and Tuesdays for one year and I combined that with my still current job my 9 to 5 where I also conduct one day every two weeks um, and after one year 
I started to work work more on my five nine my nine to five job, and um, I never thought about reapplying for a master's because my nine to five job gave me so much opportunities. That within itself was a master class. I was part of a festival, a classical festival, with the choir I'm conducting. I had to learn how to write for a string ensemble, a cello ensemble to be precisely, combined with a choir. I learned how to conduct even better than I could at the time. So I learned so much that I would not be able to learn within a classical master's degree that I started to doubt if I should re-audition for a master's degree. There is another reason why I did not apply for a master's education and that was because of the fact that I was looking for opportunities of experiences. I wanted to experience all the ways of conducting within a master's degree. But since I was conducting so much within my nine to five job, because I had the rehearsals of course, but then within my team, my musical team, we also started singing. And so I got experiences with chamber music and how to compose for it, how to conduct it. And I uh, started to have experience with how to conduct improvisations and stuff. That's why I did not regret applying for a second chance for a master's degree. Don't forget that at the time, there was a whole lot of corona going on. So the chances of having lessons within a corona crisis in a master's degree were fairly little. So in the end, I think that I was very smart not applying for a master's degree because I think that all the wishes I had of gaining experience within the conductor's world, um, conducting as much as possible would not be possible since there was a corona crisis going on. And so all the opportunities that were kind of normal for a master's degree were not that normal at the time. So what about my master's degree? I gained my personal conducting style because of not feeling the stress that is usually felt when you follow a master's degree since I felt free to explore to experiment within my conducting I created my own style and me conducting is a whole lot different than my teacher would do it and both styles are fine I mean I love to sing or play under his conducting style and the choir I am conducting loves to work with me because of my conducting style which is completely different it's not even that traditional I mean I'm I'm making a whole lot of figures that you can't find in conducting books or that not another that another conductor would not even think about but they work and I created a kind of living system because of all the stress that is not there. I think that one day I'm I gonna get a master's degree, to be honest. But I'm not gonna get it by sitting into lessons and stuff. I gonna acquire it by getting more experience within the conducting world to follow master classes, to do a equivalent of two years of studying, but do it in a creative way, follow masterclasses with conductors, follow conductors without asking them to teach me, but just following them and assisting them. And if you all count all the hours together, it's the same as a master's degree. So what's going to be next? I guess I'm going to find out and you're going to find out with me.
I hope to see you in the next movie. Bye-bye.